This is going to be a quick video on the uh, disassembly and reassembly of the Walther PPK or the PPKS also. Obviously the S is the stainless one. Um, this is this is the engraved version. It's exactly the same as a uh, as a regular PPK so the disassembly and everything is going to be the same. So we'll go ahead and start the disassembly. Um, just make sure everything's safety check. Chamber's clear, magazine's out. Okay. Uh, we've safe checked the weapon, nothing, nothing in the chamber. Go ahead and put it forward. Go ahead and put it on safe. That'll decock it. What you want to do is just pull the trigger guard down. What I do is I just grasp the pistol and put my finger down here on the side of the trigger guard. You're just going to pull the trigger guard straight down and then I hold it in place by my finger there so it wouldn't go in. You can move it side to side too. And you're just going to pull the slide back. Then push it up and then out. And you can let this go back up into the frame. And then your recoil spring off the barrel. It's a fixed barrel, so you don't have to worry about the barrel. And that's it. Okay, now for the reassembly. Um, there's a lot of debate online about how this spring goes. There's actually a small end and a fatter end. Um, the way Walther says to do it and the manual says to do it and the way this came out of the factory new is a smaller end, smaller end first. I've seen people do the larger end saying it, it it prevents like jam or something. I don't know how that would be, but I'm not going to get a debate about it. Um, but the, I don't know if it matters if it goes on either way. Like I said, the manual and the way it comes from the factory is the tight end, the smaller end, right here, goes on the barrel first. Uh, the reason the manual gives it, because it says if you can, if you point the weapon down, it might slide off. I assume that's during reassembly. I don't see how it can after it's assembled, but anyway. Okay, so we're going to put spring recoil spring on, small end first. Same thing, you're just going to pull your trigger guard down. You can move it to the side to hold it up there. I don't want to mar my frame up though, so I just hold it with my finger. Just going to line the spring up in that hole at the end of the slide. Slide it on, kind of push down at the same time until it snaps down. It's pretty much all the way back before it'll go down. Then you can let off on your trigger guard, let it snap back in. And that's it. Do a safety check on it. Safety's on, won't fire. Safety's off. And that's it for the assembly and disassembly of the Walther PPK slash PPKS.